Hey, hey, as promised, bonus shipping video. Only two pieces are going to be covered in this video. A piece of fine art and a humongous cookie jar. So, um, I'm going to tell you what they sold for and you get to watch me package them up. So let's go get ship done. here to ship that can cause some a bit of anxiety first is this cookie jar this is a I think I found out it is a McCoy cookie jar it is just marked made in USA it is a squirrel with a pine cone now the cool thing is I did not sell this on eBay I sold this to a viewer yes you guys can buy stuff before it ever hits my eBay store and I will give you a stinking good deal I was going to list this cookie jar for $85 on eBay. I sold it to one of you for $65. So that's what can happen. You got to catch me before I list it on eBay though. Because once it's on eBay, I can't take it off of there and sell it to you. But if you see something in a shipping video, I'm happy to sell to you beforehand. My email address is always down in the descriptions. Just shoot me an email. Okay, with that, let's get our squirrel packaged up. And what we need to do is package the little top separately. So let's, let's do that. We need to package the body of the cookie jar. So we're going to use our wide dimension bubble for that. And I'm going to roll it up. Yeah, no, I'm not. I always have to play with it sometimes to see what's going to be best. I think this is going to give it more layers. Now I want to leave a little slack on top because that lid is going to go inverted back down into here. So we need to give it room to do that. In fact, I might just do that first, actually. We could do that. Aha. There we go. We'll just do it first, then we don't have to worry about it, and now we can make it tight. I always invert the lids because that protects the most vulnerable part. Some of you make much prettier bubble wrap than I do. My, my bubble wrap's not very pretty. And now I'm going to use the big bubble as well. Just to be safe. And I'm going to exchange. So I've got the thickness of the small bubble on one side. So when I'm going to wrap this the other way, so the thickness of the big bubble is on the other side. So we pretty much get protection all the way around. All right, it's bubbled up. It just needs a box. Fortunately, I have a box. This box is 12 by 12 by 12. That's the magic number, folks. If I were to go any bigger than this box, it would go into oversize. So we lucked out with a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And you can see this is going to fit right down in there. And we're going to be able to put peanuts all around it, which I'm going to go do right now. 
Okay, we got our peanuts. Now we just have to tape it up. Warm up. And our cookie jar is ready for its new home. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. I know the thought of this gives so many of you major anxiety. I sold this painting for $650. Uh, now what happened was I had it listed for $1,500 and I based that price on the original paperwork that shows that the original owner did pay that much for this painting. There's the receipt. Somebody can use this, you know, for their um, insurance. Anyway, I didn't pay that much. So they made an offer of 500. That wasn't quite enough for the profit margin that I wanted on it. I came back at 750. They came back at 600 and we settled on 650 plus shipping. And it doesn't have to go too far. It's just going down to Arizona, which makes me happy. And so we're going to get it packaged up. It is a, in case you're wondering, it's a Robert Lynn Nelson painting of a penguin. The back is all signed, all the artist info on there. And uh, yeah, so let's get this shipped. Now, the first thing I want to do is protect the painting itself. And I'm going to do that with some tissue paper first. Oh, jeez. Don't step on those. It scares you. <laughs> okay, tissue paper first, because I don't want anything sticking to that. And then we're going to put cardboard, which I'm going to use. <laughs> what am I going to use? I thought I was going to use this. I may have to cut it down. Yep, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Stand by. Much better. All right, because we want it kind of snug down in there. All right? And then we're going to add the bubble wrap. Now I have my large, I should say my wide bubble wrap. Oops. I'm put my cardboard back here. Now I've got this little piece. This comes with a light and I didn't want to completely unscrew it from the back for fear that I would crack the, uh, the back. So I did unscrew it there. So that's going to cause just a little blip here as we're bubbling this up, but it's okay. We can work around that. Now, you know what I love to do to protect these things. Pool noodles. And I've already pre-cut my pool, no pool noodles and sliced them open so that I can slip them onto the sides. Now, bear with me. This takes us a little bit of doing once you put the bubble wrap on. But it's well worth it. Now this side might be a little tricky because I've got that piece there, but let's see what we can do. Not quite what I wanted for that side, but it's all good. 
And now I'm going to do big bubble to kind of hold those on. I didn't get quite as much as I should have. It's all good though, because we're going to go the other way too. All right, let me get one more piece. All right, I have one more piece. Go the other direction. I'm going to include that in there. And voila. So this part is wrapped up. Now I've got this tricky little piece here that has to be packaged separately. And we don't, we don't, don't, don't want to put this on top of here because we don't want any chance of this coming through somehow and puncturing the painting. So it's going to have to go on the end somewhere, which we'll figure out once we figure out what box we're going to use for this, which I didn't quite think ahead. All right, I have this box that some of my USPS boxes came in. Let's see if this is going to work. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be close. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the tough part of filming this. You can see, snugs right down in there and I have room on the top for this other piece to go. I think we are in good shape. I'm going to actually put some paper, which, you know me, I don't use paper a lot, but in this case, the paper is just to protect and keep things from moving around and give me a spot to kind of nestle this in there. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing here. This is also why I'm going to be revamping my shipping area. So when I do stuff like this, you can see it. But you see it's in there and I'm going to close this up as usual. And I'm going to ship and insure this for the full $650, of course. Obviously, I am going to tape this a lot more, but I always speed that up anyway. So um, I'm going to finish taping this up and it's going to be on its way and it's going to get there safely. I just have faith in that. And uh, if it doesn't, that's what insurance is for. So don't be afraid of these big monstrous items. They can make you a ton of money. There's a happy customer somewhere waiting for this. And there's a 99.9% .9 chance it's going to make it just fine if you package and take the proper precautions. You saw multiple layers of bubble. The uh, pool noodles keep it all snug in the box. This box would really have to get crushed. It would have to go through something really major for this not to make it. I have full faith it'll make it. All right. Don't be afraid of shipping. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.